So the Sony ZV-E10 is designed for vloggers, YouTubers, stuff like that. And I think it's a fantastic camera for a lot of beginners, especially people who are reviewing products. And it has a couple of features in it that are fantastic for content creators and, and, and the like. One of these options seems fantastic on the surface, but if you're not careful, it can ruin a lot of the shots that you take. So the Sony ZV-E10 has something called product showcase mode. And what that means is basically, so currently you're watching on the FX30 and I would have to cover my face to show you a product because the camera is latched onto my eye. So wherever I move, it's going to stay focused on my eye. Even if I hold something else up to the camera, it's gonna stay focused on my eye. Now the problem is if I want to show you a product, um, I'm gonna hold it out, but maybe I wanna be talking to the camera at the same time and I would like to be able to focus on the product but still kind of have me in the background out of focus. Now that's where product showcase mode comes in. So the ZV-E10, I think the ZV-E1 and now the ZV-E10 Mark II, I think all the ZV cameras have this feature built in. On the ZV-E10, you just have to press a little button down here. It's the delete button. Um, while, you know, whenever you're ready to start recording, you press that button and that will enable or disable product showcase mode. So it's a cool little feature, right? Because it's nice to be able to showcase a product while you're talking to the camera. So you'd think for people who review products like myself that it would be very, very beneficial, but it does something really annoying that I wish it didn't do. And it, it's actually cost me a lot of my shots that I've had to go back and retake. So real quick, I'm gonna swap over, I'm gonna swap the FX30 out for the ZV-E10, same lens, same settings, everything. And I'm gonna turn product showcase mode on so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are now on the Sony ZV-E10 and I have product showcase mode turned on, which means whenever I hold up this product, it's going to focus on the product and not my face. Which again, if you're showcasing products, that's fantastic. It's very handy and it does a really good job of tracking the subject, putting it up in front, and then you're not completely separated from the video. So why is this such a problem? Well, one thing you've probably noticed immediately is that I've stopped talking with my hands, which feels incredibly unnatural because I am very much a hand talker. See, what you're gonna notice is as I start to talk with my hands, if I'm talking about a product or talking about anything, again, you know, I, I talk with my hands quite a lot, you'll notice immediately it starts focusing on my hands and not on my face. So, you know, it immediately, you know, it does this with the product, which is great, but it also does it when you don't want it. What would be nice is if I could actually just tap the screen somewhere or reach around and tap a button to turn it off mid recording Recording, but I can't do that either. I have to stop the entire recording, disable the product showcase mode, restart the recording, and then go back in and line those up in post, remove the start and the end of each clip, and then and continue on from there. And that's just really irritating. I wish that there was a way you could do it by just you know tapping on the screen and the product showcase mode is turned off, or even like give it a symbol, like maybe like an okay sign to turn it on and off, that would be kind of cool, but nothing like that. Again, it's not that product showcase is a bad option. It is cool, I like it, but I just wish it was more intuitive. I wish it would not recognize hands. Like again, me talking like this, it's immediately completely distracting from the video. So I'm gonna to continue to talk with my hands to prove my point because to me, this is borderline unwatchable because the focus is just going back and forth and back and forth and it's really, really distracting. So if you're someone who talks with their hands a lot, product showcase mode is not for you. Again, it's not that it's a terrible system, it's cool, but you have to be very careful with it because it could ruin your shots. If your video and your focus is going back and forth and being really distracting, it's going to detach people from your video. It's going to make people not want to watch because it is too distracting. So yes, product showcase mode, very cool. I like that it can do stuff like this, especially for things like thumbnails. It's kind of a cool system, but it's just a little bit annoying because now I feel like I cannot talk with my hands, which just feels way less natural. So let's go back to the FX30. So to me, it's just, it gets really annoying. Again, I'm a hand talker, okay? So whenever I'm talking with my hands, it can be really frustrating whenever the camera continuously racks focus back and forth. And because there's no quick way to sort of turn this on and off, the product showcase mode, I'd have to stop the recording, press the button, make sure that it's turned off, start the recording again, and then in post, line out the clips, cut out the start and the end of each one as I'm sort of moving back and forth to the camera. It's just a whole hassle. I wish there was a simpler way to do it, or I wish that it would stay locked onto your eye until it recognized something, or you could program like, this is the product I'm showing today, I want this to be the thing in focus. I realize that's a lot, um, but it seems like a cool feature, but it can end up providing really distracting shots if you're not careful. Because again, if you talk with your hands, the focus is gonna be hunting like crazy. And that can be really distracting to the viewers. So it's not that it's a bad setting overall, but it can damage your content and it can damage your footage if you're not careful with it. So you have to make sure that if you want to use it, you're using it wisely and only using it when you need to. Otherwise, your focus is gonna be going crazy. So the, for the ZV-10 shooters out there, I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, do hit the like button, drop a comment down below, or maybe even subscribe as we continue to build this channel. I appreciate all of you for doing so, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.